welcome to Joanne's Sweet and Savory Creations. Today or tonight, I'm going to do for you broccoli salad. And I'm going to show you how I clean my ribs. So, I'm going to jump into these um, ingredients. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for everyone that has done so far. So, I got quite a bit to do, so that's why I'm making it a short intro today. So I'm going to jump into my uh, ingredients. I have some crown uh, broccoli here. I have some uh, cheddar cheese. Now, like I always say, um, everybody have their different ways of doing their dishes. You don't like it like this. Of course, you can omit, omit anything that I'm putting in mind. I'm using real bacon bits, um, some meal, red onions, and I have red wine vinaigrette, and I'm going to use some sugar. So let's get into this. So I'm just going to cut, um, I'm not going to use the stems of the broccoli i'm just going to use this part up here the top of the broccoli so we're just going to cut these off and god did i forget raisins i bet i forgot raisins guys oh uh, did i forget raisins i think i did so, let me see. I think I did forget raisins. The raisins are supposed to go in this, guys. I might have thrown them away. Okay. So, broccoli salad kind of is another version of uh, coleslaw to me. It tastes like that. Um, I'm going to have to run out and get some coal, uh, some uh, not coleslaw. <laughs> get some uh, raisins in the morning because the the raisins make the salad okay it makes the salad so and i was right at the store today and i still forgot and i kept saying i need raisins i need raisins i need raisins y'all know how it is Plus, I was at the new marketplace, uh, Kroger's Marketplace, and it's wonderfully made. It's, everything is organized and everything. So, I'm just pulling the top of the broccoli off. If you want to keep yours on, you're welcome to it. You know, but I like mine's off. And I just kind of pull it apart. Um, a friend of mine's at my job. She makes this every time we have a carry-in. This is the request, broccoli salad. So, I love it. There's one with a stem on it. And you just want to make sure you keep cutting these off, the stems off. I'm going to be back when I have cut all these off, and I'm going to show you in the next step. Okay, so I am back. I have mm, pretty much cut up all of my broccoli off the stems. If you want to keep it on the stems, you're welcome to do so. I'm going to add um, my real bacon bits. Um, sometimes I will use um, a turkey, turkey ham, or you know something like that. Oops, get that in there. Let me get that in there. And uh, so you pretty much can use what you want. You can put chicken in it, whatever you like. We're going to give this a toss. And I will be getting me my raisins in the morning from somewhere because that's what makes this this uh, salad is the raisins. Okay, so I'm going to add in. Now, everything in this 
salad is to your taste. So there's no measurements. So when I put the recipe in the description box, it's whatever your taste is. I'm going to add probably maybe a cup of red onions. You, know, you do have to use red onions. I mean, it's just something about the red onions that gives this salad a good taste. So we're going to give this a toss. And I am barbecuing tomorrow, so um, this is a nice salad. Something you know, different other than potato salad and um, coleslaw, the normal stuff all the time. You know, you want something different. This is a nice salad to make. So I'm going to add to this um, some mayo. Like I said, it's to your your taste, what you want to use. I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's to your taste. You can use Miggle Whip or your mayonnaise, either one. So I'm going to start with about two nice, well, I'm going to do three. Nice heapings of the meal. And we're going to add to that some of the red vinaigrette. Make sure you shake it very well. So, like I said, this is a very easy recipe. Red wine vinaigrette. That's why I said shake it real good. This is to your taste again. So you will need to taste this as you go. Because I'm going to put some black pepper in this. Because it's, it's just one of those dishes. It's to your taste. Nothing doesn't want to open today, so I'm going to add a little pepper and to the offset the vinegar. I'm going to add three tablespoons of the sugar one, two, and three. And if I need more, I can always add more sugar. So that's why I said this is a recipe, it's, it's really to your taste. I always add my cheese last. Now, raisins do go in this, guys. But like I said, I thought I had some at the house. And I kept saying while I was out that I needed some. But I didn't get any. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get some raisins in the morning. And you definitely want to make this either a few hours before um, your guests are to arrive or for you to eat or the night before like I'm doing because it really helps the salad to marinate and the taste um, is so good. So I'm just really stirring this from the bottom and then once it's all mixed in then I'm going to add my cheese and then in the morning when I go get some raisins or whatever then I'm going to add that in. So this recipe will be in the description box. I'm going to give this a little taste to see how this is coming along. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little more sugar. Oh, if it had the raisins in it, mm, mm, mm. that would just make it a bomb. Okay, so I'm going to mix this in. And don't worry, as it sit overnight, the mail or Miracle Whip or whatever 
you use and it, it will reduce down to like a slaw, like a coleslaw. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add another dollop of mayonnaise. And then I'm going to add my cheese, which is last. Now, this is optional. Actually, my friend, she doesn't put the cheese in hers, but I put the cheese in mine. So this is optional. And tomorrow it's going to be nice outside. So. Now, I'm using probably about a cup of the mild cheddar cheese. If you want to use more, you can. Like I said, this recipe is. And I'm going to add a little more vinegar to help that mail out. And then we're just going to give this all a toss. And then I'm going to add a little more pepper in. I don't add salt into this salad because you really don't need it. You have the salt from the bacon. So you really don't need the salt, any salt to me, you don't. But if you want to add salt, you can. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. All that's missing is my raisins, which I will be getting in the morning. So let me clear this out, and when I come back, I'll show you. All right, here is my final uh, dish, the broccoli salad, minus the raisins, y'all. I'm going to put those in there in the morning. So this recipe will be in the description box. Don't it look pretty? And it is delicious. All right, so I'm going to show... You guys, I'm going to take a picture. It's out the way. Okay, I'm going to take a picture later. But I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put some foil on my broccoli salad. Get it in the refrigerator so it can start... Chilling for tomorrow. Like I said, you can do this the night before, or you can do it a few hours before you are to eat it. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how I do my ribs. Okay. I'm going to put a slab over here. And I have pork chops over here too as well. Okay, so these are already been washed. I like to take the fat off of the rib because the back of this this layer of skin here because it makes the meat tough if you don't on the back so you want to make sure that you pull all of this off make sure you get all of that off and then I'm going to uh, Rinse it off again, and I'm just going to show you the seasonings that I put on my rib. And just let me make sure y'all guys see this. Make sure you get all of that off. And I learned this. Because I wasn't taught. It took me a while to really learn how to barbecue like you're supposed to learn. You're supposed to know. 
but I learned this part from a coworker of mine's. And he told me, he said, if that allows you for the meat to cook evenly, and that layer of skin, when you pull it off, you see, that's how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna rest this off. Make sure you rinse it real good, get on the pork. Okay. Rinse that off. Give it a little shake, shake. And then this other fat. I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash. And I'm going to show you how I do my rib. Now, I just showed you how I did the, took the, that layer of fat off. Now, I'm going to show you how I season it. And I just use basic seasoning. I mean, I know a lot of people use different kinds of seasoning. I just use some garlic powder. I go in with my garlic powder. And I use some black pepper, black pepper over here. And I let these marinate overnight. I'm cooking them tomorrow, so I'm about to let them marinate overnight. Season and salt, flip it over. Same thing on the other side. I do the same thing on the other side. Season and salt. Okay, and these are uh, baby back ribs. I am cooking ribs, pork chops, chicken, hamburgers, and brats on the grill tomorrow. And the sides, broccoli salad, greens. Got my greens going on over here in that pot. Corn on the cob and baked beans. So that's enough, right? All right, so. I'm going to put this right here because I want to show you another step. I'm going to get my board a rest. Okay. Wipe up this juice from the meat. I'm going to do the other one. Now, this has been washed, too. I'm going to do this one the same way like I did the other one. We're going to take that layer of fat off. And before I knew this, I used to wonder why my meat was so tough on the other side. And I'm like, hmm. Oh, it's really tough on the other side. So just wanna now I showed you how to do the other one. So I will be back when I show you the next step. Okay, so I am back. I have seasoned, I have cleaned my ribs, the fat off. I have my pork chops here. I have seasoned. So this is the very last thing that I do. I take any kind of beer. I don't drink beer, but I put it on my meat. And we just let this marinate overnight. And while I'm cooking, I will be doing a video tomorrow while I'm barbecuing. And this marinade, I do not discard of it. I constantly put it on my meat as it's cooking and that keeps my meat to be moist and tender. Thank uh, my uncle Stanley for showing me the beer method ever since he showed me that. 
I have been doing it. So this is going to marinate overnight. I'm just going to let this sit, cover this up, and tomorrow it'll be ready for me to barbecue. So there you have it. Now you see how I did my broccoli salad and you see how I clean and seasoned and marinated my ribs and my pork chops. Until next time from Joanne's Sweet and Savory Creations. Bye-bye.